In this movie, we'll start adding a little bit of interactivity into our projects, and that is by the use of events and event listeners. So to begin, I will draw a simple shape, which is a circle, convert it to a symbol, double click on it to select both this, the fill and the stroke, hit F8 to convert to a symbol, I will call this circle, it's of type movie clip, and the registration point will be in the center, and hit OK, give this a, an instance name of simply circle. Double click on it to access its timeline and then I'll add a keyframe on the second frame. Hit F6 to add a keyframe and then change the color of the fill and the stroke. Say I want the stroke to be black and the fill to be green. Then add a keyframe on frame 3 by hitting F6 double click on it, select both the fill and the stroke. I'll let the stroke be something tending to cyan maybe. And then I want the fill to be purple. Or is it pink? I'm not really good with colors. And then frame 4, hit F6 to add a keyframe, double click on it. Then the stroke will be, uh, I don't know, make it bluish and the fill will be something red. And I will test the movie. And it's doing this kind of disco effect. We don't want that to happen. Oh, you know what, let's keep it like this. I have other plans for it. Now we'll close this off, go back to scene one, add a new layer, call this one actions, and then lock the first layer and then click on the first frame of the actions layer and hit F9 to open up our actions. To begin, I will refer to the circle which is present in our stage by typing circle dot and then I want to add an event listener to the circle. Whatever, what an event listener is, is something that keeps waiting for an event to happen, hence event listener. There are many types of event listeners, including mouse events, keyboard events, and interframe events, which is something we'll get on in a later movie. And of course, if you're on a mobile, touch events and accelerometer events. Let's begin with mouse events first. So we'll write add event, within capital E, listener, within capital L. This follows the same camel casing uh, rule that we have been using to define our variables and functions. And then open parentheses. Here we will write the type of the event that this event listener will be waiting for. It's going to be a mouse event, so mouse within capital M, event within capital E, and then dot, then the type of the mouse event. There are a lot of types of mouse events, including over down, up, double click. So mouse event dot mouse, all uppercase, underscore, over. Also all uppercase. And then comma, then the name of the function that will be triggered whenever this event happens. I will call this function f1. Then close our parentheses and semicolon to end our statement. Now I want to add another event listener to this circle, so I will copy this as it is, paste it. Now this next event listener will be mouse underscore down. Again, all uppercase. And what mouse underscore down is, is what is what happens when you hold down your left mouse key. The function that will be called is F2. Again, paste it, another, another event listener be mouse underscore up. Obviously it's what happens when you release your left mouse key. The function called will be F3. And then finally, again, final event listener, it's going to be mouse event dot mouse underscore out, which is when you hover out and away from your circle. The function called will be f4. Now we need to define our functions. So we'll write function, 
function f1 and within the parentheses this function uses a parameter which is an event so we need to include this within our parentheses so write event and colon and then the type of the event that this that activates this function this one is a mouse event then close our parentheses and we see that flash automatically imports uh, the mouse events class never mind this for the moment now some programmers like to put an e instead of event leave it like this i personally prefer it like this way it saves on some typing but either way it's 100 percent correct there's no problem with that i'm going to leave this as it is right now and then colon void because this function will not be returning any value to us and then a set of empty curly braces what I want this function to do is to stop the flashing of the circle I want it to stop at frame 1 so to do that I would write circle dot go to and with a capital A stop with a capital S and then a set of parentheses within these I would write the frame I want the circle to stop on that will be frame 1 then it's semicolon to end your statement so whenever I hover over the mouse the circle will stop animating at frame 1 again copy this code to save on some typing and then paste it down here function f2 again this is being triggered by mouse event so if type void circle dot go to and stop at frame 2 so whenever I click and hold down on the circle it is going to turn green as we see here so again paste it function f3 being triggered by mouse event circle go to and stop at frame 3 finally function f4 circle go to and stop frame 4 so if I test my movie now see that the circle is animating like a disco ball whenever I hover over it it stops at frame 1 if I click down it turns green if I release my mouse it turns purple and if I hover away from it it turns red again the cycle keeps on going and going okay some progress has been made here while we're at it let's take a look at go to and play command so I want to add another event listener so I'll copy this one paste this time is going to be a mouse click event so circle add event listener mouse event dot click so pretty self-explanatory this activates when I click on the circle the function will be called f5 and I guess that this will cause some problems with the mouse dot down and mouse dot up not going to cause problem actually it's going to cause confusion because whenever I click I've actually clicked down and up for the click to be completed so I'm just simply going to comment these lines out just so there won't be any confusion so on the mouse over event it's going to stop animating on mouse out it's going to go to the last frame of the circles timeline and whenever I click on the circle I want it to reanimate that is flash like a disco ball so I'm going to copy this paste it here function f5 and then I want it to go to and play all the way from frame 1 go to and play uh, pretty self-explanatory goes to a certain frame and then plays starting from that point control enter test our movie see that it's flashing like a disco ball whenever I hover over it, it goes perp it goes pink hover away from it goes red if I click on it it 
animates like a disco ball. So our code works. And while we're at it, I'm going to get a little bit deeper into accessing or referencing items on our stage. If I have multiple timelines within my circle, that is, if I go into the timeline of the circle, and then if I clear those frames by clicking Shift F5, so I'm only, so I'm only left with one frame for simplicity, and then convert this, select both the fill and the stroke, convert this to a symbol, hit F8, we'll call this one circle one, hit, click OK, give it an instance name of circle one, then go into its timeline and add a keyframe to frame two and change the color of the circle to black and the stroke to let's say purple or is it pink I'm not really sure then go back to C1 I want to reference circle one's timeline through action script so let's say I want circle one to be on frame one by default then it should switch to frame two whenever I hover over it with the mouse but if I test my movie now I'll see that it's altering between frame 1 and frame 2. I can tell it to go to and stop at frame 1 by default, or I can simply go to its timeline, add a new layer called Actions, and then click on the first frame and type Stop. This simply stops the animation at frame 1. If I test my movie, I'll see it's frozen at frame 1. So now I want circle 1 to go to frame 2 whenever I hover over it, so it turns black, and then get back to frame 1 whenever I hover away from it. So I can do that by going to my actions panel. And then I will keep the add event listener dot mouse underscore over, and I will keep the mouse underscore out. I'll simply comment the mouse event dot click. So I will change function one to circle dot circle one dot go to and stop at frame two. So to reference a movie clip within a movie clip, simply write the instance name of the first one and then the instance name of the one within it. So circle dot circle one dot go to and stop at frame 2. And then function 4 will be circle dot circle 1 dot go to and stop at frame 2. If I test my movie, see that whenever I hover over the circle, it turns black, and when I hover away from it, okay, what's going on here? Let me check. Mouse underscore out. Go to and stop at frame 1. Sorry about that. It should be at frame 1. If I test my move again, ah, there we go. And it functions the way it should.